Okay, hello folks, this is activity OT90 and I will be uh, doing this problem where two blocks are racing down a track, uh, but I want to uh, specify the position versus time, another one information about velocity of these two blocks, not as a program, as a C program, for example, but uh, not as a rule, but as a two dimensional sketch and uh, you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, the other thing is that activity OT90 and OT91 are the same problem. The difference is that in OT90, the information is not normalized, okay? So uh, I give it exactly like the raw data, the position in inches versus time in seconds and the total time of t uh, 10 seconds. In OT91, I will come back and normalize these, and uh, we'll see how it goes later on. Okay, uh, so uh, let me go ahead and immediately save this thing. So file, save management, uh, save as, I have a folder. Uh, let me see now. Uh, activities, OT90 is here and it's going to be called uh, product. <clears throat> okay, let me insert the track. Insert, new part in there, and I'm sure my units are in inches, that's good. Right click properties, and I'm going to call it track. And track. And I'm going to make it 20 inches long. There's nothing critical about that number 20 inches. It's just that if you look at the plot that I have, it goes up to 20 inches. So I want to make sure that uh, it doesn't, you know, go off the track, basically. So uh, let me go to the part design. Okay. We are in part design. On that vertical plane, I will sketch. That's going to be the track. So uh, let me see. Uh, let me put a dimension here so that I have a rough idea what these things are. Uh, this is, uh, okay, uh, roughly uh, one inch. So let me make this thing uh, two inches. Okay, and exit. All right. And then I'm going to make that 20 inches long. Good. Now I'm going to go all the way to the top. <coughs> Insert the... For example, the blue block, so insert. If you look at it, I, I have different colors for these. Blue block is the one that's closest to you. So insert a new part in there. And uh, always say no. Right click properties, blue block. Blue block, remember this is the instance name and the part name is down here. I can do copy and paste probably here. Copy and paste. Good. Say OK. And now we're going to make it. So double click on that. On that vertical plane, I will sketch a little, uh, a little uh, rectangle. Again, the size of it doesn't matter, but I will, uh, you know, so that I can see it, I will make this thing. Uh, uh, I'll make it half an inch, perhaps, or maybe 0 0.6. Yeah, 0 0.6 is good. 0 0.6 is good. Okay, so uh, the height, uh, I'll make the height so that they both have, both have the same height, also 0 0.6. Totally irrelevant. Now I'm going to bring this thing and put it down there. So this point, control that point. We make it coincident so that it comes down and sits on that edge. Exit. I'm going to pad this thing by uh, maybe uh, also 0 0.6. Good. And let me change the color of this. Right click properties on the graphics. I'm going to change it to blue. Okay, good. All the way to the top. <clears throat> Insert new part. Say no, and this is going to be the green block. Right click properties, uh, green block. Oops, cancel. First of all, let me change the color of it to green. 
Okay, that's good. Oh, I haven't, I haven't done it yet. Uh, right click properties. I haven't made it yet, so that's okay. The color is fine. So it's going to be green block. Green, uh, green block. A copy and paste. It should be green. Copy. Paste. Okay. I say okay. Let's go make it on that vertical plane. I will sketch. All right, another uh, rectangle. Okay, let me dimension this thing 0.6. Point six. Exit. Actually, let me bring this thing and put it on that edge at this point. Oh, I think it's already lined up. Okay, go. Well, I'll bring it down to this. Control that point. I'll make that. Uh, let me see for a second. This point. Control that edge I'll make it coincident all right good exit and then pad it by 0. 0.6 because I made the color green already it's going to appear as green oh very good now <clears throat> what I said is that just to make things easier for yourself these graphs these graphs you may be better off in put it in a separate dummy part. You don't have to do that. You can you can take, for example, this sketch and put it in the blue block, or the green, uh, take the one below it, put it in the gr uh, green block, etc. But I, I suggested that to avoid, you know, uh, possible uh, confusion, etc. Why don't I in insert a new part in there? I'll say no, and I'm going to call this thing. Uh, Property, you don't have to do it like this. As I said, uh, I'll, I'll set sketch holders. Sketch holders. Okay. And sketch holders. Okay. Good. So let's go and make our sketches. We need two sketches. So let's try with, uh, let's try one uh, on the vertical plane. And just so that the uh, uh, I don't, uh, you know, just so that this is not going to get mixed up with the rest of the stuff. I'm going to sketch, no problem. But I'll do it on this side so that it doesn't go into my three-dimensional thing. Now, let me do the following. Uh, let me uh, uh, do it like this. So uh, uh, the horizontal axis, horizontal axis is going to be my X, essentially, or my time. The vertical one, based on the drawing that I have there, looks like this. So, uh, for example, uh, okay, hang in there. I, I want to call this thing, by the way, a not sketch one. Let me exit this. Okay, so let's try it again. Vertical plane, no problem. Sketch. I'm going to change the name of that later on to uh, to uh, the uh, uh, this one. I'm going to ch change change the name of the sketch later on to blue sketch. How about that? So uh, it looks like this. You look at the drawing. The blue sketch is the one below. So it's going to look like that, like so, like so. Like that. Now I have to put dimensions here. Okay, so let's see. A dimension from this point to that point. The horizontal dimension is uh, based on the drawing that I have is ten. Okay. Good. Good. Oops. Okay. Now. 
the other one is uh, uh, from here to here is three. Will be three. Three seconds. This uh, from here to here is according to the drawing is two. So from here to here, right click horizontal. It's going to be two. We're going to fix the heights later. And from uh, this is the point nine. So dimension from here to here, right click horizontal. That's well, going to be nine. Nine. Okay. Now we do the vertical heights. The vertical heights uh, from here to there, right click vertical, based on the drawing that is five. Five. Okay. And uh, this height is. Uh, 20. So dimension from here, dimension from here to here is going to be 20. So you can see that this graph, you can see that this graph is. Uh, Essentially, this graph. That's why non-dimensionalizing non may be a good idea, but uh, I, I didn't do that. So every, assuming everything else is okay, this is what we've got. So we exit, okay? You can see why you may want to non-dimensionalize. Although this is, you know, so, so let me call this thing uh, blue right-click properties. I'll say blue sketch, blue sketch. And I have to do the same thing for the, uh, uh, the uh, what is it, uh, the green one. So uh, once again, on that same plane, that same vertical plane, I will sketch. This is going to be called later on uh, a green sketch, but I'm, I'm not going to mix it here. I'm going to draw it right there. Okay, so for example, a line, a graph that looks like this, looks like that, like so, like so, and we're going to put uh, dimensions on it. So the dimension from there to there, right click horizontal, that's going to be 10. All right, oops, <laughs> no problem, I'll grab this thing. I'll grab this thing and bring it up. And this thing I'm going to, okay, so uh, I don't like that. You know what? Oh, here, because that's too long. All right. <laughs> okay, this is 10. So dimension from uh, here to here, from this to this. Let me do it a different way. Dimension from there to there. Right click horizontal. And that is two, seems to be two. Good. And then from here to there is five. Dimension from there to there. Horizontal is five. That is five. Okay. And finally, uh, we do the heights. Okay, we do the heights. So, uh, uh, because this is 10, okay. So we do the heights now uh, from there to there, it should be five. Okay. And from here to there, 
horizontal must be 20. Is that 20? Yeah, 20. Vertical, that should be 20. Okay. Exit. And there we are. Okay. Good. <clears throat> These could be side by side, but they cannot be in the same sketch. Okay. And this one we said green, right? Properties. Properties, I'll call it green. Sketch. Okay, let's go do it. All right, so uh, now we're going to go to the assembly. First of all, save everything. And then I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to uh, 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 apply constraints. Okay, so uh, let's see now. Let's anchor the track. Coincidence between this edge and that edge and coincidence between this plane and that plane, that will make it a prismatic joint. I do exactly the same thing on the other side for the, for the uh, green one, coincidence between this edge and the little one, and coincidence between that plane and this plane. And if things don't work out, you come and fix it. I'm sure this is okay. So now we're gonna go now we're going to go uh, to the uh, digital markup, the, uh, digital markup, DMU kinematics, get the magic wand out, new mechanism, mechanism one, auto create, there's going to be two prismatic joints, should be at least. Yep, you can see that. Now, double click on this, make it length driven, but the direction in the other direction, okay, very good. And same thing with the other one. Also, once again, the other direction. Okay, that's good. Mechanism can be similar. Needless to say, if you try to do that manually, you're gonna have two sliding bars, okay? Now, if it's bothering you, you can make this range between zero and 20, et cetera. But I'll leave it like this, because in a minute, I'm gonna put some physics into this thing, and this thing really doesn't matter. Okay, so here's the situation. Notice that we made these length driven, therefore two commands was created. Look at what I'm doing. This first one, this first one, I suspect it is between, uh, uh, let's see now, it's between, yeah, between the blue one and this uh, track. Here's the situation. You say link, see that? Link, see? Link. Click on it. It says, where is it? So I go to that sketch, either on the screen or in the tree. I'm gonna to go to the tree. Sketch holder, blue one, right there. Just select it. And there is a maximum time value of 10. That's what I want, no problem. And we say, okay, good. I wanna show you something here. Notice that as soon as I did, did that, as soon as I did that, this line was created. First of all, I can change the name of that. I'm done here, by the way. This good. Double click on that. Notice that, first of all, the name of it, it's coming from the blue sketch. So basically, the name of this is, is, is the blue one, right? So let me, let me cancel that. I'll call this thing. Right-click properties. Blue law. How about that? Blue law. You don't have to do it, but uh, blue law, okay? But the thing that I want to show you is double click on it. Notice that there's a scale of one. And because, because I put things exactly like it should be 10 and 20 high, then I don't have to change the scale. I say, okay, no problem. Now I do exactly the same thing. Go back here. Go back here. Right click, uh, I'm sorry, double click on it. What I mean, this is the one that we haven't done. Uh, so link, do it with the green one. I can do it from here or from the sketch, either, either one, okay? And I say, okay, 
good. And notice that the second law has been created. And if it helps, I'm done with this. If it helps, I'm going to double click on this thing or right click on it, properties. I'm going to say green law. You don't have to do that. But if you want, there we are. Green law. You say OK. And if you double click on it, again, the scale is one because everything was drawn to scale. All right. So we say OK. Good. So we have inputted our displacement time information, not in the form of a C, few lines of C code, but in the form of a sketch. Okay, so let's go all the way to the uh, let's go all the way to the top to the digital markup actually right there. We save everything. All right, so we go here. We say simulation with laws. Activate sensor. Notice that there is two there is two length driven commands. So I'm going to ask for that yes and yes because the only way I can check my result. If I plot these, I should be getting these two curves. If I don't, there's something wrong. This is over a 10 second interval. Perfect. I'm going to run it. See that? It's following what it's supposed to. Believe me, this is following that prescription. And then this is going to catch up with it. Yeah, see that? So that at the end, they reach 20, 20 inches at the same time. Now, if I say graph, these two graphs must be these two graphs. And they are, unless I made a mistake. No, no. See, see the, 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 the green one is this, and this yellow one is the guy down here. All right? So the choice is yours in, in yours. in a problem like that, unless you're specifically asked to use a sketch or specifically asked to use a C code, you can do either one. All right? Now, the activity OT91 is going to be repeating the same thing, except that I, uh, I am not, uh, I'm, I'm going to be normalizing these heights so that you don't go up to 20 inches and things like that. Now, one last thing that I want to say, and that is notice that these are the commands, and they agree with what I input, what I created as a sketch. You can ask for the velocity, you can ask for acceleration. It's the same usual way that we have done it for the past, uh, I don't know, eight weeks, nine weeks. All right, folks? Good luck. One last thing. Remember, I put these two sketches in a dumb, dummy sketch holder part. You don't, you don't have to. You can, you could have put it in the, in the blue part, blue block or the green block. The only thing is that when you do the simulation, that sketch also moves with the block, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Good luck.